They can be just as damaging as tornadoes. We know that. We've seen it. We're talking about straight line winds. Marcus explains the impact they had during last week's storms. Yeah, Neil, good morning. There are several areas that the National Weather Service surveyed last week, and they determined that the damage that was associated with them was due to straight line winds. Let me show you that as an example. Note these particular counties, Cannon, Wilson, Warren counties, even all the way from portions of Murray, Smith, Giles Perry County, even inside of Davison County too, we had straight line winds. But note the top two here, Cannon, Wilson and Warren County, 80 to 85 mile an hour winds, certainly very, very significant, but that's equivalent to a very weak, but a very strong end EF zero tornado. Now in a straight line wind situation, it's the field of damage that is going to be greater and all damage items are pushed in the same direction. This is video from May of 2020 when a derecho impacted Middle Tennessee. This type of long duration wind thunderstorm, oftentimes the straight line damage isn't get does not get talked about as much, but it can be similar or at times even more powerful than a weak tornado. Now compare this to the tornadoes like what we saw last week. They follow a path we saw with a total of 10 tornadoes inside of the news 2 viewing area and on any severe weather risk day, both straight line wind damage and or tornadoes are possible. You have to be prepared and alert. When we say all modes of severe weather are possible, a significant severe weather day, this isn't the day to just ignore or you know, not pay attention to severe thunderstorm warnings. Because some of these downburst winds, some of these straight line wind damage storms, you know, cause 85, 90 mile per hour winds. And that's enough to take trees down. And if they hit something like a house or a vehicle, the damage can be detrimental. So how do we look for type of damage related to either tornado or straight line winds? Sometimes it's very hard to see this on the ground perspective and you have to look a little bit higher up. This is an example of tornado damage taken from a storm a long time ago, not from last week. But notice here, this comes from the National Weather Service office in Huntsville, that counterclockwise movement of how all the damage was done here to the trees as the tornado came through. You compare that also with straight line wind damage. These are a a lot of trees and they're all blown in one direction. Either way here, damage is damage and the damage that can be done by straight line winds can be just as intense as a strong EF zero tornado and the damage is still going to be very impactful.